Today, we're going to be looking at the melody for the best, worst Thanksgiving, my favorite Thanksgiving song. This song was inspired by some of my favorite music growing up in the pop punk genre. So finally, I get to live out my rock and roll guitar lifestyle on the xylophone. The melody looks and sounds like this. That pattern is repeated four times in the song. It makes a longer melody that sounds like this. If you notice, my left hand never left G. It played G after every note. We're going to start by playing D and G. Make sure D is higher than G. We don't want to hear. That would be incorrect. So we're playing D to G up high, descending. Pick up your mallets, pinch, and curl. Our hands should match, and we're only going to move our wrist when we play. We're going to play D, G, one, two, one, two, ready, go. 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 Fantastic. I know you're thinking this is very easy, and that's a good thing. This melody sounds a lot harder than it is. The next two notes are B to G. There's only one B on our xylophone, so it should be pretty easy to find. B to G. Pick up your mallets. We're playing B to G. One, two, one, two, ready, go. 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 Excellent. We're going to combine the four notes that we've learned so far. The first two were D to G. The second two were B to G. So we're going to combine those to sound like this. Pick up your mallets. One, two, four notes. Ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Last time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Take 30 seconds to perform for your neighbor. Take turns showing each other how to play the four notes. If you need help, ask your neighbor first. Then ask a teacher. Welcome back. Hopefully that was 30 seconds well spent. Hopefully you got to play for somebody. The next two notes we're going to learn are C to G. Again, our first note is higher. C to G. Pick up your mallets, pinch and curl. C to G. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. 
Excellent. The last two notes we're going to learn, we've actually played before. It's B in the middle to G. B to G. We've done this before, so as you go, pretty easy. One, two, B to G. Ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. We're going to combine our new four notes. That was C to G and B to G. So combined, they sound like this. Notice my hands don't have to travel far. If you're jumping from this C to this B, that's way too far. Make sure you're playing the C and B that are neighbors. Pick up your mallets. Let's play together. One, two, four notes. Ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, Last time, ready, go. Take 30 seconds to perform this for your neighbor. Show them and then let them show you. Welcome back. Hopefully that was 30 seconds well spent. We've now learned two different groups of four notes. In the first section, we learned D, B. D to B, with G's in between. The second group of four that we learned was C to B, with G's in between. C, B. Our right hand is playing a simple pattern of D, B, C, B. They're all neighbors. D, B, C, B. Can we just play the right hand part? So you just need your right hand. You're going to play D to B, C to B. One, two, right hand only go. One, two, Right hand only go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. We're now going to put the G's back in. So our left hand's coming back. And our left hand's going to play nothing but G's in between every note that we're playing. So we'll play D, then a G, B, then a G, C, then a G, B, then a G. We'll go nice and slow. Pick up your mallets. One, two, nice and slow. Here we go. D, G, B, G, C, G. B, G. Your right hand is still playing D, B, C, B, but we're throwing in the left-handed G's in between. Let's play the same thing. Pick up your mallets. One, two, whole thing, here we go. D, G, B, G, C, G, B, G. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go.
Take 60 seconds to practice on your own. Be sure to play softly so you're not bothering your neighbor. Welcome back. I hope that was helpful to take some time on your own. Let's try and play this all together. We're going to continue to play this slow. Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. The last time we'll play it at this tempo. One, Two, one, two, ready, go. Wonderful. If you're having any troubles with this, feel free to rewind and try this section again. The timestamps are in the comments. Moving forward, we need to speed up this pattern. I'd like to play it at this speed. Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, ready, go. 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 Take 60 seconds to practice this on your own. Be sure to play quietly so you don't bother your neighbor.
Hopefully that was 60 seconds well spent. I'd like to now try and play our melody two times in a row. It can start to get confusing, but every time we play D is the beginning of the pattern. So this is one time. When I would go to strike D again, that'd be the start of the second time. So if it helps you, every time you see me strike D is the beginning of the pattern. It'll look and sound like this. Second time. Pick up your mallets. Let's attempt to play this twice. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Second time, here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. First time. Second time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Second time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Let's try one more time to play it twice. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. I'd like to play a game to make it a little easier on ourselves to play this four times. The teacher in the room can pause the video and break the class into two groups. We'll call one group turkey and one group gobble. Teacher, go ahead and pause the video and break the class into two groups, turkey and gobble. All right, welcome back. Team Turkey, good to see you. Team Gobble, glad you're here. We're gonna have Team Turkey play the melody twice. Team Turkey, let's play the melody two times. One, two, turkeys only, ready, go. Team Turkey, do it again. Very nice. Team Gobble, pick up your mallets, pinch and curl. We're gonna play the melody two times, Team Gobble. One, two, Team Gobble, ready, go. Gobblers, let's do it again. Excellent. I would like to have Team Turkey play there two times and Team Gobble start immediately after. There'll be no pause in between. So Team Gobble has to be ready to start as soon as Team Turkey's over. Both teams pick up your mallets, but Team Turkey, you're gonna play first. Team Turkey, one, two, two times, ready, go. Team Turkey, play again. Team Gobble, ready, go. Team Gobble, play again. If everything went well, we should have heard the melody four times. We're gonna try this again. Team Turkey, you'll play first. One, two, Team Turkey, ready, go. Second time, Team Gobble, one, two, ready, go. Did it go better this time? Let's give it another shot. Team Turkey will play first. One, two, Team Turkey, ready, go. Second time. Team Gobble, one, two, ready, go. Second time. Was that the best one yet? Hopefully. 
Let's do this one more time and hope for perfection. Team Turkey will play first, play two times, and Team Gobble will take over. Team Turkey. One, two, Team Turkey. Ready, go. Team Gobble, ready, go. Hopefully that was the best one yet. Some of you are ready to play the melody four times all by yourself. If you'd like to do that, I encourage you to play all four times. If you'd rather only play it two times, then continue to play for either Team Turkey or Team Gobble. But if you have the courage to play all four times, I'm ready and I'm excited for you. So Team Turkeys or everybody who wants to play it all four times, let's start at the beginning. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Second time, here we go. Team Gobble, one, two, ready, go. This is the fourth time for some of you. Excellent. Congratulations to those who tried it all four times. If you're doing it two times, it's still fantastic. This is a lot of notes. Take 60 seconds to practice this on your own. I'd love to see everyone try to play this four times. Welcome back. Let's attempt for everyone in the room to play this four times. It's okay if you make a mistake. I'd still like to see you try. Pick up your mallets. Everybody in the room. One, two, four times. Here we go. Second time. Third time. Fourth time. Was that exciting? Maybe a little scary even? Let's try it again, all four times. I'm glad that you're trying this. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two. Three. Four. Fantastic. Let's try all four times again. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two. Three. Four. This is the last time we're going to play it four times together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two. Three. Four. If you can successfully play it all four times, you're ready to move on to the video for the best worst Thanksgiving. If you're having trouble, I encourage you to play it once and then rest 
and play it a second time and then rest. So while the video is playing, you could play rest, rest, play it again, rest, rest, then you stop. It's a fantastic way to stay involved. Another idea is to play two in a row and then rest the second amount. One, two, two times, then stop. Rest, dum, 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 rest, dum, dum, dum. And that way you can still stay involved. Another option to diversify the ensemble would be to have the bass metallophone or bass xylophone or even contra bass bars play this four note pattern. G, D, E, C. If it makes it easier, you can remove the F and play G, D, E, C. If you're looking to really impress your teacher, you can figure out how to play both at the same time. Let's see what they sound like together.